guys and welcome to a new doll box opening and review video once upon a time I decided that I wanted only four little fairies so it was like when the second series of little fairy went out that I actually started collecting as on dolls and my first doll was Lipu so I decided that I only wanted four little fairy like only the second series the second series is composed of Lipu, Veil, um, Irinoe, and the second Veil because there was a Veil from um, the Doll Show Limited Veil. So I was thinking, okay, so I'm going to get like the three of them, including like only the Veil from the Doll Show Limited, and then I thought, okay, to be like very, very complete, I'm going to get the Veil, like the next veil so that was only for only the second series and so that's why I never actually tried to get any doll that was produced like before that series and then what happened was there was another limited doll and then they created new characters Nelly and Ryan and I managed to get seven doll and then nine doll and then what happened was like Okay, I have nine, so I cannot have just four to spoil them with clothes. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm gonna get the colored hair versions. So I managed to go that. And then recently I was thinking, okay, maybe I could try and get like extra little fairies. And my friend was, uh, my friend in Facebook group of Azone was like, Oh, I finally got her, like it was Lipu schoolgirl. And now I have all the Lipu ever made, and then it made me think, so how many of them is there? And actually I was missing nine of them. And so I decided, mm, let's have a look at what I'm actually missing. So I checked them out, and I'm missing the full first series, I'm missing the, ch the sheep, which I actually regretted if you saw a previous video, where I have like the dollhouse for the little fairy, I have the like new Nelly uh, which is a rooster and I was thinking oh if I had a sheep and the rooster instead of the, the sheep outfit I could have like all the zoo of little fairies so that would be nice so I kind of regretted not having the sheep so the sheep and the three from the first series and then this one and our counterpart which is very very hard to find and so I decided, okay, maybe I should try and get all the little fairies. So I just went online and I found actually five of them. So that's, if I get all the five, that's four missing. But so far I only got two of those five. So basically I got this one because she is like maybe more difficult to get than the others. She is a limited heroine from... Aizen store Akihabara so you could only get her if you go to Akihabara to get her and I found her on Yahoo auction again so Yahoo auction is really nice when you want to get like older doll because they end up popping up at some point and I decided okay she's very cute and let me just go and grab her so I just participated in the auction and I managed to win her so I was very happy so let me get her out of the box now that I'm done rambling about her and Azon in general. So she's second hand, so I don't know what's going to happen in the box and like where all the items are. So and she is adorable, like she is the only one that I have with that hair color. So first we have as usual the box with a book and you have picture of her picture of her in like without the first outfit because she has two kind of outfit I'm going to talk about that later and like extra outfit she could wear if you have her buy it and then another picture of her so let me get her book out so we have little fairy here and it's not really a book, it's more like a flyer. So you have her in her dress, and here she has like her Azon apron, and she's doing the cleanup. And here you have like, so you have like 
at least like talking about Akihabara store. This is like the label store in Akihabara, basically where I get like most of the doll when I buy them at the store. And then you have picture of the doll, Erino, and then you have what she's coming with. So she's coming with this dress. It's a yellow dress with separated sleeves and she has socks, a thing to clean up, the Azon apron, underwear and shoes and then here you have a big picture of her and on the other side you have like a little thing when she's cleaning the back of the flyer and the front and another portrait on the side here we go so let's see how it's done so let's get her stuff first so she has this little cleaning device and it looked white on the book but actually it's slightly pink so it's pretty nice I have a few like two of my other maid have this but a white version so having a pink version is nice and then here we have her shoes little brown shoes with little bows on it on them and oops let's take the little girl out of it yay freedom so this is a room and I, I really like the fact that she has braided hair she has little bread here on each side and it's pretty cute but you're going to see that better because I'm going to zoom on her and show her to you from close up. So here is our little cutie. So because she is a Erino, she has blue eyes. I think they all have blue eyes. Yeah, they all have blue eyes. She's like Erino is like the blue type girl. And then she has those long hair with a bang at the front and those adorable little bread this is so cool this is kind of i don't know i like when they have like not only like colored hair or long hair or whatever but when they have some kind of little detail even in the hair i think that's pretty awesome and so she comes with this azon apron because she is like the little fairy are basically little helpers so you have the little maze and this one is the Azon staff so basically she is supposed to help clean the store because she comes from the Azon store so she has this little Azon apron to put on the top of her dress and then she has this yellow dress with separated sleeves so you can like wear the sleeve or not depending on the weather I guess if it's cold she put the sleeve on if it's sunny she doesn't need to and then like so the dress is yellow and it has this white color little pink bow at the front and some very l tiny less at the bottom and also the sleeve has that less around the wrist so it's pretty cool and she's so cute and adorable and so tiny tiny and because she's a little fairy, she has like oversized hands because the D body has oversized hand, oversized feet, and a slightly bigger head than normal Piconemo, which is why I love them actually. I'm not a big fan of the tiny tiny one, but I love the little fairies. And she has so those socks, white socks, and I'm going to try and put on her shoes. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, I just need to slide the shoe, the feet inside of the shoe, if that's possible. Okay, one done, one to go. Almost there, yeah! Shoes on. 
pretty easy. So here you go. So she has shoes with white heels and white underneath. And then it's brown little shoes. It has this little dot here. Like always go onto the little details and small bows at the front. Same here. Pretend closure for the strap and little shoe. It's pretty cute. She is adorable. I'm so happy with her. And I hope I'll be able to get all her friends someday. I don't know, probably not in the near future because at least three of the ones I'm missing are pretty hard to get. But we never know. I can get lucky at some point. So here we go. So guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to go and take some picture of her. I have another Azon outfit because after they released her, they also released the outfit alone, so but with a dress of a different color. So I have one of those, so I'm going to use one of my other girl so that she can take picture and have a helper to help her take care of the Azon store. So that's going to be fun. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know what you think about this girl or about the little fairies. Do you have any? Do you want some? Anyway, just let me know anything you like. Give me a thumb up if you enjoyed this video. Have fun whatever you do and see you next time for something else. Bye!